Now to the big story, the Detroit debate. Yeah, the city taking center stage in the national spotlight. 20 candidates over two nights will vie for your vote to be the Democratic nominee in 2020. Many of the biggest names already descending on Detroit. This weekend, Bernie Sanders took a trip from Detroit to Windsor to talk about the price of insulin. Pete Buttigieg was also in town yesterday fundraising at the Fillmore and today Kamala Harris stopped at several retail stores downtown. Also, Jay Inslee visited the Marathon Oil Refinery. Seven Action News reporter Brian Abel is live at the Fox Theater with the preparations that are underway for the big debate. Brian. Hey guys, you see the Fox Theater behind me right now. You may see in the very far distance those national satellite trucks. And then take a look at this right over here. That is CNN's broadcast stage there. They were live just a few moments ago. They have been throughout the day, but much of the prep as well as the security for this entire area. You see a live look overhead right now. Much of it's been done outside of the public's view. The Fox Theater, now the centerpiece of the next few days in Detroit, playing host to CNN's Democratic debates on Tuesday and Wednesday. The area around the theater, highly controlled. Security at nearly every nearby parking lot and building. CNN's broadcast stage already up and in use, taking a large footprint across from the theater in a Comerica Park parking lot. Hockey Town Cafe transformed into the central hub for the nation's media. Law enforcement working overtime. You have all your federal, state, county, local agencies. Um, DPD, obviously, will be in charge of the local stuff. You're going to bring in all the units that you can have mounted for a physical presence, canine for obvious reasons, to check for any uh, incendiary devices. Former DPD Assistant Chief Steve Dolent explains with 20 candidates, one who may eventually occupy the White House, the area, a high value target will be closely monitored behind closed doors and tough to get near for the public. It's going to be locked down. It's going to be hard to get in there. And, and these people that think I'll just blow in there last minute, they're wrong. And they're not going to let them in and they, don't, they shouldn't be let in. This is a high, high priority thing. And of course, with Detroit playing host to this debate, expect a lot of Detroit based questions and topics to be asked and addressed during the two nights. We'll have a preview of that coming up tonight at six on seven action news for now reporting live Brian Abel seven action news and Michigan issues at the forefront. I am sure Brian, thank you so much for the update. And we do have an entire section on our website dedicated to the Detroit debate. There you can find out how to watch it and the rules and much more on who's running.